Welcome back, y'all. Here we go on my other part of my uh, Hall of Fame rant, or the people that shouldn't be. That I, in my opinion, I'm like, not that they wasn't great, good players, really good players, but do they really deserve to be in the Hall of Fame based upon what? I ran across a uh, another guy played for the Denver Broncos, Floyd Little, who got, I think I got in like 2011 or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he's a five-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro. He plays the majority of his years in, uh, in the 70s, from 70 to 75. He came to the league in 1967. So 67, 68, 69, 67, 68, 69. So he played like three years in the three years in the 60s. He played in the AFL. Now, when you go back and check out a lot of different things, and I and I you know and I and I went and checked this out. I was just looking at Floyd Little. Okay, I seen highlights and different things on Floyd Little, and he did this and he did different things that was done. But I was trying to really figure out, just like you know, like okay, well. Uh, what did certain guys do? Like, if you go to the AFL here and 1966, uh, 67, 67, I think the year that he came in, you had a guy named name Jim Nance, who was a New England Patriot, rushed for 1,216 yards. The year before that, the year before that, uh, Nance had rushed for 1,458 yards. So he had two basically he had two great years back to back for that era and uh kind of faded faded the glory for the most part there. So if you go in 67 uh the different people the, the the point I'm making is this here is that somebody like Floyd Little, I've seen highlights and stuff like that, shifty back nice back and stuff like that. How did Floyd Little get in, get into the Pro Football Hall of Fame? Let's because, like I said, 67, 68, 69, his first three years basically in the league was in the AFL. By 69, merger and all that stuff, like by that time it hit 1970, that's when the merger came. So from 70 to 75, that was his longest tenure, five, six year, five, six year uh, run right there. He played nine years in the league. So six year run there, three in the, in the NFL as it merged and whatnot, and as a Denver Bronco. They only had two winning seasons, and I don't think he ever even went to the, uh, uh, to the playoffs. In 19, so we go from 1970 to 1975. Okay, let's do that. So from 1970 to 1975, he rushed for 901 yards in 1970. He led the NFL in rushing 1,133 yards in 71. Goes down to 859 and 72, 979 and 73. He had 12 touchdowns though. And by that time, it was basically it. He does 312 and 74 and 74 and 445. By age 1975, at age 33, he was pretty much done. That was his last year, nine years in the league. So his run, his base run was from 69 to 73. Now, if you take that 69 to 73, right? 60, like I said, 69 to 73, right? And you and you look at this. And you'd be like, okay, like, like, okay, like, like, to see exactly, you know, what, what did this, you know, what did the guy do, and everything. So I, I, that's what I'm, that's see. I go by these numbers, and you try to figure out what did these guys do. Where's the accolades? And like I said, his team for the mo every year was a losing year, with the exception of let me see here. Let's let's look it up. With the exception of uh, do, 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 do. let's look this thing up here. We had the Denver Broncos, who were four nine and one. It was four nine and one in seventy one. Five eight and one in seventy. Sixty nine five eight and one. Sixty eight five five and nine. Sixty seven is rookie year three and eleven. And let me run it up there a little bit here. Is is running up there. And see what happened. Five eight one. Okay. 71, 4, 9, and 1. 72, 5, and 9. 75, 7, 5, and 2. 74, 7, 6, and 1. 
and six and eight his last year. So 74 and 73 was the only uh, winning years that he had there on, you know, on there. And what type of impact did he have? See, if you're going to be on losing teams, this is like O.J. Simpson, perennial lose. I think he only went to maybe he had one playoff game that he might not have played in, right? But look at the yards and stuff that he racked up. Floyd Little, like I said, 901 and 70, 1,133 yards in 71, 859 yards in 72, 979 yards in 12. He led the league in 12 touchdowns. So he led the league once in touchdown, rushing touchdown, and once in rushing as well as in carries. He had a 5.0 average back in 1969. He averaged 81 yards per carry uh, in 69 and 80.9 yards. 80.9 yards. He led, again, in, in, in yard, yards a game, I should say. Yards a game, 80.9 and 71 and 69, 81 Yard, fine. And yards from scrimmage, 1388 back in 71, which was his best year by far. He's not on no all-decade team. He's not even on an all-AFL team. Floyd Little for 6,323 yards, and he had 43 touchdowns. 43 touchdowns. Now, mind you, like I said in the earlier thing, Jim Brown set the bar. Even him and Jim Taylor set the bar for where your rushing is coming at this point. And then O.J. Simpson and the guys like that and Walter Payton and just later on, that's where it's at, 13, 14, 1,500 yards. Floyd Little rushed for 1,000 yards one time. And he's playing in an era with O.J. Simpson, Franco Harris, Walter Payton, Leroy Kelly. Let's go to Leroy Kelly. He's in the Hall of Fame. Leroy Kelly in 66, 67, 68. More or less in the 60s here. Right? He led the league twice. He led the league three times in three times in rushing touchdowns. Twice in rushing. Twice in rushing. He had Three years in a row in 66, 67, 68, where he uh, was over 1,000 yards. And last two years, he was led, led the league in rushing, 1205, 1239. And he accumulated, let me see here. Let's do this right here. Uh, in, in the three-year run, 15 plus 11 gives you 26 plus 16 gives you 42 touchdowns in a three-year run. 42 touchdowns in a three-year run. Plus 1205 equals 20. Plus 1239. 1239. 3,585 yards and 42 touchdowns in a three-year run. Okay. You're like, wow, he did that, you know, and that's good stats for that time and era. And, you know, all of these things that led the league and yards from scrimmage and all that good stuff. Leroy Kelly basically did that. Yards, like I said, eh, 817, 656, 865, 811. And, you know, I mean, on some perennial losing type teams. And so I was like, okay, you kind of give him that for what he did, what he led. And then, like, it was still about if you got a thousand yards, that was still good because it's still 14 game schedule and everything like that. But I, I can kind of see this a little bit 7,274 yards, like I said, in the 60s. And by the time the 70s, like I said, he's in came in the league in 64. Kelly came, uh, Floyd Little came in in 67. Floyd Little rushed for a thousand yards one time. How's Floyd Little in the Hall of Fame? How is he, how is he in the Hall of Fame? What, what is it that he do that rendered him a, a Hall of Famer? I get some of the things that he did, but I'm like, how did he get in the Hall of Fame? You got to me. I mean, people think it's about, it's about yo. It's got to be about something. It has to be about something. You can't just like I'm gonna put this guy in the Hall of Fame because he's an old time. He's been waiting around. He's been this. He's been that. Was that person the best at their position when they were in their prime? And what is it that they did? 
Floyd Little played the majority of his career from 77 in the NFL in the 70s. Now, you go back and let's look at Floyd Little's thing and we'll do some adding there. So, you go from 1970. Right? That's 901 and 70. One, one, three, three. Plus, hold on, let me, let me, let me get this right here. 901 yards that he rushed for in 1970. He rushed for 1,133 yards in 71. Okay, then 72, 859. Plus nine seven nine and uh seventy three and he had he led the league in twelve touchdowns. Then seventy four. Let's see what he had seventy four. Three hundred and twelve yards. Plus four forty five in his last year. So, from 1970 to 1975, Floyd Little rushed for 4,629 yards in that time frame. Okay? That's it. That's the 4,629 yards from 70 to 75. A six, that's six years right there. 4,629 yards. That was him at his prime from 70 to 73. He finishes with 6,323 yards and 43 touchdowns. From 70 to 75. You're talking about 70. In 1970, 3, 6, that's 9, 18, plus 12. 18 plus 12. What is that giving you? And giving you 30 touchdowns from 70 to 73. That's 30 touchdowns in one, two, three, four years. Let me see. That's, that's, that's 9, 9, 18 plus 12. That's 30 touchdowns from 70 to 73. 30 touchdowns. After the 12 that he gets in 73, he has three touchdowns at plus as plus three 33 touchdowns from 70 to 75 33 touchdowns he finishes with 33 touchdowns so from 70 he from 70 to 75 33 touchdowns he only had another 10 he had 10 touchdowns prior he only had 10 touchdowns prior to 1970 and being in the league from 67 68 69 he had only had 10 touchdowns Two in the ten. Let me see. Oh, I'll take that back. One, two, three. Yeah. But five touchdowns a year, something like that. How's Floyd Little in the Hall of Fame? I don't care if he didn't get into 2011. What did he get? Nice back. How does he get in the Hall of Fame with those types of stats? Again, the ball was set with Jim Taylor. J should say Jim Brown, Jim Taylor. Now, it's backs now. Go now and 70 to 75. Let's go to the all decade team. Let's go to the all decade team of the 1970s. Okay, let's do that. We're gonna go to the all decade team. All right, let's do that. Let's look that up. Let's look at your backs OJ Simpson, Walter Payton, Earl Campbell, Franco Harris. Now, Earl Campbell only played 78, 79. He only played two years in that 70. He was second team all decade with him and Franco Harris. Those are your best backs. All four of them were Hall of Famers. Four of them, Hall of Famers. Go look up, like, like I said, in the 70s. Now, Earl Campbell, this is for, as we say, for shits and giggles, right? Let me look up something there. Earl Campbell. <sighs> 
You take Earl Campbell from his three years. I'm, I'm, I'm his first three years in the league. His first three years. I'm just saying his first three years in the league. Let's just do that. All right. One, four, five, zero, plus one, six, nine, seven, plus one, nine, three, four. His first three years, he rushed for 5,081 yards in his first three years in the league. I don't even remember what I was talking about with the whole thing with Floyd Little. It was like for the first – this first three years in the league, it's not even that close. Even if his best run from the 70 to 75, it's not even close to that. But yet, he's in the Hall of Fame. Why? See, you can't, like I said, is it because it's a, we want to put guys that was played in the AFL? Or in, uh, Bron is it because Bronco love? What, what is it because of? You know, it's not about me trying to diss. I'm just asking the question, how come and why he's even in there? And it's basing this on what? You know, it shouldn't even it shouldn't even be that way. So when if you when you look at it from that perspective there, you'll see what I'm talking about, where it's like, how is it that this how is it that Floyd Little is even in the Hall of Fame when his stats don't even set up to any of the four guys who was of the all decade team, OJ Simpson, Walter Payton, Franco Harris, Walt, uh, and Earl Campbell. It's not even close. So why is he in the Hall of Fame? All you Bronco fans, come holler at me. You come check me out. Like, like love the love. Check us out at uh, Unc uh, at uh, Everything Football sixty two. You check me out. Leave some comments. Check me out on Twitter, uh, Unc Up Men sixty two, uh, Everything Football sixty two, and leave some comments. And we start some dialogue. We we'll catch you guys later. Thanks. You have a good one.